expensive house in this whole area. It's this house. You know why I can say it's the biggest, fanciest, nicest, most expensive? Because it was the only house in this area. There were no other houses. So this this was first? everything. This is the very, very first house that was here in this area over 150 years ago. And we're going to be able to go inside it, which a lot of people don't get to go. They have to just look through the grate there, but we've unlocked it because you guys are in a school class and we want you to be able to see inside. It's gonna take a second for your eyes to adjust when you go in here. Come in, come in here a little bit. Yeah. Keep coming, keep coming in so everybody can fit in. There you go. There you go. Okay, now I want to point out some things to you, and I really don't have to point this out too much, but this is kind of dirty in here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Look down at the floor. Wow. You know why the floor is so dirty? It's dirt. There's no floor. That's why it's dirty. You see, this house was built with walls that sort of, and a roof, sort of, that kept out the rain, sort of, and kept out the wind, sort of, okay? But it didn't have any floor in it. It was just walls and a roof. And yet, this was the best, greatest, most expensive, fanciest house in this whole area. Why? Because it was the only house. Okay? Now, you can see a little bit better than when you first walked in, right? And I didn't go over and move the drapes or raise the blinds, did I? And why didn't I do that? Because there's no blinds and there's no drapes. How come there's no drapes? Because they're so old and they didn't have that. There's no windows. See, the only opening into this house is where we walk through the door. You guys want to see the range and the oven and where they cooked and where they did all the cooking for stuff? It's right here. You know how you make a campfire when you put rocks in a circle and you build a fire inside and try to hold the fire and where you can... This is the stove. This is the oven. This is where they heated this cabin from. Would you like to see the shower and the bathtub yes. and the faucet yes. and the sink? Well, there isn't one. <laughs> the only water that was in this house was in this that was filled up down at the river and then hauled back here on a horse. And that's how they got water in here. So if you wanted to make coffee in the morning or brush your teeth or clean up, you know what? You know what? I think back then, in those days, people were a little stinky. I don't think they were real clean, because I don't think there was a lot of water. Unless you went and dunked yourself in the river, or you were a Baptist, maybe, but there wasn't a chance to take a, take a bath. Let me show you something over here. This is a bunch of logs that are put together on a frame, and in between the edges of the frame are ropes. Well, those ropes form kind of a foundation that oh, if bed. you take blankets or burlap bags and put over the top of them, that is your bed. Now, this is the most luxurious, most comfortable, fanciest mattress you can imagine because it's the only one. There's no other one. See, everybody else would sleep on the ground under a tree or by a rock or just out in the open. But this at least was underneath a roof and inside some walls and was hopefully dry and because of this was hopefully a little warm. Where you're standing right now is inside Ren Farrell's cabin. It's known as Ben Snipes' cabin, but it was really Ren Farrell that lived in here. And in this cabin, this is where this is the first inhabitable building of any kind in this area. You're standing inside. Most people have to stand outside this screen here and just look in. 
So what I want you to be able to do, because you're a class and we wanted to let you have a chance to come inside, is when you're driving by here with your family or your friends, you can point over here to this cabin and you can say, hey, I got a chance. My school, my class came to the museum one day and we got a class to go time to go inside the cabin. I've been inside that cabin. And that's kind of a neat thing. Just the last class, a teacher said she'd lived in, in Sunnyside all her life and this was the first time she got a chance to be inside here. So this is kind of a kind of a special thing. And you can tell people you were inside the oldest building in this whole area that was built 150 years ago. Pretty neat, huh? Yes. Those white things is our mud that's put in between the the logs in order to try to keep the wind out. You know what I said, sort of keep the wind out? Well, the mud sort of worked to keep the mud out. So, hi. That's a saw. The big long one there is to saw up logs so that they're uh, manageable to be able to be picked up and, and, and yeah, they're sharp, so don't watch your fingers, so that you can carry the logs. And then this saw is for, that's two people have to work that saw. And then this saw is for one person to take the logs 